tip. If you're talking to someone, go to their Twitter. It's like when it's like, dude, if you were a whore and you're... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Let's get into dating. The taste of industrial waste doesn't matter anyway. You want to go first? Hi, hello people. Welcome to our one-time mini video type podcast thing, I guess. This is not going to happen again because who are well, you? You don't know. You don't know what the world world oh uh, uh, yeah they might y'all if y'all want another one and you want right. to book a flight so. for like, me to go to the south or, or her to come to the east coast support us so we can get our money up <laughs> <laughs> hi hello my name is juanita um welcome to my channel or blossom channel i don't know whose channel we're posting this on but yeah welcome to rough patch a little video type podcast of two west african girls talking about our life yeah yes for you Hello everybody, hi, I'm Blossom, and welcome to my channel. What's with you in the 2000s voice, you're like, hi. That's, hi. Literally, that's literally how I do my videos. Uh, don't even, don't even do like that. Just like very like 2000s character, like, yes, I'm my much, life is kind of crazy. I'm nostalgic, <laughs> what did I say? Uh, this was like funny, spontaneous, mm -hmm. well, Anita's had this idea. And yeah. Was like, why not? Perfect. I'm here. We might as well. Yeah, because we're always on FaceTime with each other and like always All having like met too much. Like one time we were on FaceTime for seven hours and I was like, whoa, was why it? are we? No. I thought it was two hours and I checked and it was six, almost seven. I was like, okay, That's we got to go. Like, goodbye. <laughs> but yeah, we just wanted to like talk about some of the things that we like conversate about on yeah. FaceTime and just hopefully some of you relate. But yeah, here are the topics that we might be going into. Um, just one, navigating your 20s because Blossom just recently turned 22, even though I make fun of her and say she's Stay like... thinking I'm 23. She's like, oh, yeah, um, what, 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 nearing her 30s? What, wait, how do you... You're like, oh, you're stepping in. Yeah, yeah like... And I'm like, Yeah. Because I also recently just turned 20. I'm about to turn 21 not next recently. month. She's about to be 21. Let's oh not my play. God, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it a buck. Get your neck off. No, I mean, get your foot off my neck. Yeah. Why do you just want to grow up? No, I don't. And it's okay. It's not that I don't want to grow up. It's just like, that's terrifying. So yeah, that's just going into navigating your 20s. Um, I'm just like, I guess like the comfort of like teenagehood and like knowing that you're in the age where like you kind of have a sense of security to kind of like fuck up. And you get like second chances not saying that you don't get second chances in your 20s you definitely do but like i don't know it's just scary because like the pressures of like that's like the decade where you're supposed to have everything figured out or like yeah. figure out what you want to do and like who you want to be I'm which i think getting married at this age. oh my god no literally <sighs> my mother well thankfully my mom had me like later like 27 but yeah still like my mom got married at 21. Hmm. yeah like, <laughs> yeah but just like that the pressure is and like as much as you want to try to ignore it, it's like in the media, movies, social media, your parents, people around you and all that. So I guess like for me, that's kind of why like 20s is kind of like biting fingers type thing. But yeah, what about you? I don't, I feel like it's still surreal to me. I think, I think I spend too much, too much time reminiscing about my teen years because I mean, mm. I'm, I'm already three years deep into the 20s. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. But like... I spent a lot of time reminiscing like dang like I took those moments for granted or the stuff that I thought was hard wasn't yeah. actually hard and then just like actually having to start thinking about real things like probably one day having a place or mm -hmm. just like buying your own groceries and then yeah. like <laughs> oh I was, my god like I'd be complaining about spending money to buy groceries no. and then it's like wait when I have my own place no. I'm gonna be paying the bill for the apartment the electric the water yeah. you know internet Phone and bill, on top of that groceries too like it's just like healthcare everything like it's just so yeah. it's just so much and it's like dang especially in this economy and it's like especially in this economy mm -hmm. sometimes I'm like I kind of wanted to like hurry up like let's get the ball rolling yeah. but then once again, big nostalgic. Then it's like, but I'm like, I don't want. Yeah, you to don't want to grow up. Grow yeah. up. And I feel like in your 20s, especially in like, I don't. I mean, at least in African culture, it's like mm -hmm. now, me like, it's year 2023. I was no. supposed to graduate this year, mm -hmm. and that's just kind of been like the conversation with aunties and uncles and like people from church. It's like, oh, did you graduate? Mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, no. Yeah. I'm like all of my friends are going to medical school or like they're going to law school. They're all like, finally like in their next step and I'm not so it's just kind of been like a bit 
discouraging and kind of confusing to be honest because it's like it's crazy how you go from high school being on the same path with yeah. the same people for four uh-huh. years and then like once you graduate it's like some people stay on that path and then some people yeah, like yeah. me don't end up doing like the four year properly or whatever mm-hmm. and like i don't know yeah. i'm rambling i think that's another thing with just like your 20s like i guess we're so conditioned and like the people we grew up with like we're all like you, that comfort of like oh we're We're all in this together type thing so like once like that starts like disappearing it gets scary because like now you're like shit i'm on my own like yeah like who do i kind of look to to like compare myself or like yeah so it's yeah it's kind of that thing where like you have to really have like a one not like a strong sense of self but like in a way try not to like compare yourself or like yeah yeah all that because that's very understandable like i last semester failed their classes and i was like on path to graduate like a semester early and even with that i was scared because i was like damn like right after that what am i gonna do because i personally don't want to go into the workforce like right after graduating because right. another thing with you mentioning like the pressures of like oh you're done with this here's another like goal to reach there's no and, break like, you just yeah, keep going like, and it's like so yeah for me i have like grievances because like growing up with African parents, especially being an only child, like, I, my teens, I didn't even consider them teens, because it was, like, being an only, literally being an only child, like, with parents who were working doubles and overtime, it was, like, don't go outside, stay home, don't open the door for anyone, like, there was literally a park, like, a 30-second walk from my house, but, like, I couldn't go to it, because, like, just, like, I guess, like, them wanting to protect me, but at the same time, like, I missed out on a lot of moments that people in my age group, like, experienced and in a way I felt bitter about that so now that I'm in my 20s I kind of feel like I have to make up for that but at the same time I also want to like feel that sense of youth again I don't know it's kind of like this like back and forth thing where it's like damn I don't want to grow up but at the same time like I want that independence and freedom so that I can like experience things for myself because in a way having strict parents who like obviously don't grow didn't grow up in the u.s yeah we're all experiencing it for the first time like they have like they're like don't do this don't do that but it's like in a way halting me from like it's definitely harder since you are the only child Mm -hmm. so there's no you know a guinea pig no 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 no. you're the first one yeah i know i gotta like everything is rebel and like they're like (gasps) what yeah (laughs) yeah I, I, I mean, I'm not the only child. I'm the mm-hmm. only girl, and I'm second to last, and I have all brothers. But I totally, for sure, can relate on, like, I wasn't allowed to go outside uh, yeah. <laughs> at all. My brothers would go to the park, and I wanted to go. My parents were like, you're a girl. Aww. You don't need you getting kidnapped. Yeah. I'm like, girl, uh, what? <laughs> so I spent Let a lot of live. time, like, because, oh, my God, one time me and Juanita were on FaceTime, <laughs> and I was talking to myself. <laughs> and then Juanita was like, hey, like, you like what did you say oh you said something to me about like i was talking to myself yeah and then you're like man you really have no one to talk to sometimes or something like that i don't know yeah, i was like you act like an only child sometimes yeah, yeah and i, I was that. like i literally had no one to yeah, talk yeah. to because like i don't know my brothers i love my brothers but it's just like also growing up very like surface level like i couldn't get into the nitty gritty girl and stuff like that uh, like, oh, they don't they look like shut up that's what i'm talking about that's what I'm <laughs> so i spent a lot of my time just kind of talking to myself and like playing with dolls and drawing all the time and then your dad took away the doll yeah <laughs> he said, he said you're too old, you're too old for <laughs> that is so sick yeah. oh my god so yeah. I, had, I was just drawing a lot mm-hmm. and then started doing youtube in seventh grade oh uh, yes oh my god i used One to summer. watch her on youtube yeah that's crazy and i saw her on tiktok again oh my god don't talk about how we met actually oh, yeah. boy, I that. literally like yeah um i used to watch her on youtube because like if you were on youtube like 2013 era you know barely any black girls the only one that i remember was what's her name the skinny tila dunn Oh, yeah, yeah. Hello, like, they don't look like us though. Yeah, her content was not really for like I like the users I used to watch in the past was like Ashley DIY, My Life Is yeah, Ava, yeah. not Ashley, Lord DIY, Lord and DIY. you know all those like uh, just like YouTubers that were like high school type things. But like there were barely any ones that were black. So like when I saw what she was doing, I was like, <laughs> bet. <laughs> and then I don't know for some reason like I lost like I I I don't know whether your channel disappeared or like I just I stopped watching. Yeah, and then. I I saw on TikTok again, and I was like, damn, she looks mad familiar. <laughs> but I couldn't put my hand on it, and I just, like, started following her because, like, her kits and stuff were cool. 
And she followed me back, and I was like, oh my god, you I know, you know, I remember you messaged me. I did? You were like, hey, like, we should connect to be mutual. Like, really? Not, yes. I actually moved? Yes, no, you did. No, I was like, so yes. <laughs> And at first, Loki was like, who the fuck is this? No. <laughs> and I was like, so I was looking at your account. <laughs> is, Yo, okay. Me. I mean, you follow me. I'm like, who is this? I'm trying to, like, get like figure out how cool i am to follow me back that's so sick i have to figure out i have to know what's good i mean yeah and i was like okay i don't know ah. <laughs> i don't really like, you know what i don't even i probably it might i mean oh wait since you're talking uh, yeah it would be so like, i've had three tiktoks again because i don't know the first one was like a tester like for funds and giggles because like tiktok was a thing and i downloaded that second one was like a test run but then i don't know what happened but i just I think either I got shadow banned too much or whatever, and then I deleted that, and then this one is the one that I currently have. We've been mutuals, I think, for like almost two years now, because around the pandemic. Oh no, maybe three, I don't know. Yeah, it's almost like yeah. three. And we just like met each other this week. Yeah. Kind of crazy. crazy. She didn't catfish me, thank God. I didn't turn out to be a murderer. I'm, what? I'm Yay. Out of here. I'm just a baddie. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. just crazy. I'm, you know, it's, it's interesting to think, because like, imagine if I didn't respond to that DM. Uh. You, know you wouldn't be in New York right now. I wouldn't know, really. Like, <laughs> I think this has been very like exciting for me, like mm-hmm. because I've been such in like a bubble and like consistently like work, school, church, church, church oh. like you know the same thing over and over again. And then like, but then there's been like cracks mm-hmm. in that routine. Yeah, where it's like I hate work. <laughs> I'm failing class. Oh my god. Church is like I'm not even like feel like yeah feeling it mm-hmm. and then i'm you know like my heart my heart's on the right place and like just i'm like okay i need to get away oh yeah you yeah. know what i mean like mm-hmm. and figure it out but yeah now you're tuning it's not easy there's no like manual there's no book to it it's very much mm-hmm. a trial and error thing and i think you know the frustrating thing about having african parents when it comes to navigating your 20s mm-hmm. is like they don't want you to make mistakes yes and in reality in life like that you're you bound need, to make mistakes yeah. and if you we, need to make you need to make mistakes, mistakes to learn. Like, if you live in that delusion of like oh yeah. I'm, like nothing bad can happen to me or you know like you're when you do get in crisis you're not gonna know what to uh-huh. do and that's when people tend to fuck up yeah but like that's a thing that with my mom i'm trying because i understand from her perspective like i'm her only child and like yeah, I'm literally her only child, and, like, I'm the only person that she yeah. has in the U.S. Like, the only yeah. family member she has in the U.S. Because, like, I'm like, you have family members here. But my mom and I are the only ones from our family that live in the U.S. So, like, in a sense, if I'm gone, she's kind of stranded. Yeah. So, I get it in a sense, like, she wants to be protective of me and, like... But it's also... But, all, yeah, it's, like, I don't know, it's suffocating. I think that's yeah. the only word. But it also comes yeah. down to something that I would hope our parents can finally try to start understanding is that we the, to trust us mm-hmm. you know like trust that you did the, a good job yeah. and raised a good child who knows no. it right from wrong. Like, tr- yeah. like if we've made it this far uh-huh. 2022 and you know nothing crazy like no. bad has happened i mean i've been in some stupid situations i got a tattoo but, today so. sorry mom <laughs> but like you know but okay yeah tattoo, yeah you could have i don't know did a drug heist or something oh, no. or been at a party that got yeah like we could have been at, we could have been doing some really crazy stuff mm. this entire time since I've been That's here. the, yeah, literally. That's the thing that, like, I guess with just, like, growing up and realizing that, like, the older I get, like, the stricter my parents get for some reason. Yeah. That annoys me is the fact that, like, it feels like there's no trust. It's, like, they're always, like, suspecting something. Or, like, they make me feel like that. Yeah. So I've gotten to the point where now it's kind of, so like, cares? yeah, it's, like, I want to be open to them and tell them stuff. Yeah. And be like, hey, this is like it sucks because like I go to my friend's house. Like when I started going to my when they finally allowed me to go to my friend's house. That's great. That's a crazy that's sick. thing to say. Like I had to be friends with these girls for like three years for them to be like, oh, yeah, finally you can go to their house and hang out. That's insane. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, when I finally started going to their house and seeing like their family dynamic, I just started getting like really upset and angry because it was like, damn, like why don't I have this? Because like their parents yeah. were just very understanding and like affectionate towards them yeah. and like even though they didn't agree with some of like the things they were doing or be like i don't think you should do this or i don't think this is a good decision they still understood that like their child was not a reflection of them yeah and they're there to like help them if they do make mistakes and also guide them but it wasn't like manipulative like oh you can't do this because right. i said to them or, i like this is, you no, or, yeah or your life is gonna be the, like, yeah just true. just like curse and stuff like that and yeah i just like opened my eye and it just made me really angry because I was like 
damn like like why like why me kind of in a sense like okay so like what's wrong with me is that like my parents feel a certain way about like letting me have like common fucking experiences yeah. you know yeah <laughs> yeah i know i, I get that because i used to be like that i think that's probably why i became so open with my parents but mm-hmm. trying to see it from this perspective is like was that a thing for them growing up oh like, yeah yeah actually conversating with people yeah like, yeah, yeah. That's so i think that's why they're so wary of it because i mean i mean at least i know like my mom used to be like one of the little girls selling in the market mm-hmm. and stuff and like she's just not you like very just not about being friendly mm-hmm. just because like people don't have the best intentions oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. even so it, it it's like with that it's like i mean at least take the time to meet my friends before oh, you just yeah, be like yeah, yeah, yeah. nah you can't go to their house like yeah i don't know i think cultural differences too that's a thing that's i don't know i try to like see stuff from like different perspectives but that's another thing that i'm like trying to work on that i do that a bit too much to the point where it kind of becomes people pleasing so that's a thing that i'm trying to stop like yeah you can see things from people's perspective as much as you want, but ultimately you can't yes, like, it's most yeah, you can't, and also you can't like change their mind. Like if they don't want to like be understanding or see stuff from your perspective, then yeah. you're practically wasting your time trying to like be understanding of them as fucked up as it is. But like, yeah. So. I mean, it starts from the home. I think once you kind of like, mm-hmm. work, I mean, cause I mean, I, it's a different dynamic. You're only child. Yes, I'm a little yeah. girl, but I do have other siblings. Mm-hmm. So like, there's like some leeway, yeah. but I don't know i think probably like once i hit like freshman year (laughs) (laughs) once i hit freshman year of um college yeah i stopped asking and i just started saying like i'm going here yeah i'm doing this see i tried doing that and it worked for like a month or like a month to three months my stepdad he's like he he really i like he's understand of the fact that like i'm at an age now where like yeah but my mom i don't know what is with her she's just hawk over me it's oh, like yeah. kind of like oh why aren't you asking me and it's like dude like i'm not gonna do crack in some fucking alleyway like i'm literally yeah. and like my friends and i if y'all watch my channel like i'm literally a grandma in a 20 year old's body ah, like stop. i my sleep like at, usually around 10 11 p.m my body just like gives out yeah. i'm extroverted but like i also obviously like energy social battery. Social, like social battery like it dies out and in a way I was socially awkward so like there's some things that I just like don't indulge in yeah not because like I'm afraid to but because I just it's not for me like partying and stuff like that I didn't really like participate in that and high school because like obviously I wasn't allowed to but like in college I just don't it might have been too much for you I'll tell you yeah, that just, like, yeah, <laughs> coming yeah. from an ex party I'm, I'm at a freaking the, a party school like the number one party school yeah. I see how these kids act like that the it's fucking frat basements like and also just like the dangers of like getting assaulted and stuff there i just it's not really the scene or place for me so i just never indulge in that but it's just i don't know i don't understand why they're like like oh you're gonna do that i don't know no i generally just truly <laughs> believe like because i think you you stand strong in like your stance mm-hmm. but then like the more they keep talking to you you lose and you're like all right you just you just like all right just, yeah my you thing just is accept it. my thing is i just hate having to like i don't know it's not that i don't like confrontation like i notice i'll be confrontational for other people like my friends yeah like my friends i'll be confrontational for other people like yeah but for me myself yeah just like that whole back and forth thing i'm just like i'm not fucking doing this with you like i'm not wasting my energy so i'm just like okay let's just end it here yeah ultimately do what you want to do i'm just going to move on with my life type thing so like when it comes to my parents obviously i can't move on with my life i live with them so it's kind of like and also, just like African parents, the thing that they do is like when something happens, they won't let it go. They bring it up in every situation until they like forget about it or something. And I just yeah. hate that because it's just like really annoying and in a way manipulative. So like yeah. having to have like a situation or a mistake that I made brought up every single instance is annoying. So I just, I just like drop it because it's like if you're gonna hold this over my head, I'm just not even. I'm like yeah, I'm not gonna like yeah. Sometimes you have to fight. I know that's what that's what I'm trying to do, like setting boundaries. Like I did that last week, and that shit was hard. I felt like fucking really fucking guilty. No, did it stop recording? No, it didn't. Yeah, it's still either recording. But I felt really fucking guilty. But then I realized, like, I need to stop doing that because it it doesn't. It's not only my parents. Like it translates to other things. It's yes, like, it, yeah. I feel like I disappointed someone. And I like ask myself, why do I feel like I disappointed someone when I put myself first? You know, yeah. kind of like asking myself questions like that. So yeah. I, 
yeah and you know in all of that really kind of just goes back to just like personal taking time to love yourself mm-hmm. you know if you why do you keep putting people first and you're not you keep like you polish somebody else and then you yeah. look at yourself you're all like tattered and beat up and then maybe now like as you turn 21 it's time to be selfish a little yeah, bit that's what i'm saying like and i need to bad. go loki i need to go back to my high school self like I don't know that's like a very weird time like because middle school i was like very quiet when i moved to the u.s that whole like xenophobia bullying and everything made me like shut myself down and then high school i was like why the fuck am i like downplaying myself because of these people but then i guess like the result of that was like very loud yeah everywhere kind of like you're gonna hear me yeah. but then college i was like that's kind of exhausting to do all that time and whenever you're like chill and like it's trying to yeah, find like the, the equilibrium so yeah, yeah that's what i'm doing right now like with some people i'm shy on the shy side some people i'm like very extroverted yeah it's, it's like yeah 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 finding a good medium mm-hmm. yeah. now that was a good conversation <laughs> about your 20s and living with african parents um and let's get into dating <laughs> she got one in hinge when she came here no no no, no. i <laughs> took my cut off pause oh uh, you oh she said yeah, she took it off pause I was trying to see who wanted me out here, but no one really wants me. I am a dime in Texas. They uh, eat yeah. me up. Mm-mm-mm. I'm like looking at it. <laughs> I, know, I guess that's the thing with the city too, like multiple options. Like people are more picky. No, yeah, but I New York. New York is very diverse compared yeah. to Texas. So like I'm like a rare breed. <laughs> then you know here, there's yeah. so many beautiful black women oh, here of different styles right. and aesthetics. I on the train, I'm always we're, admiring. We're that. average. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, don't I'm do that. You would be. I'm telling you, Texas, they would eat you up. They beat you up. That kind of scares often, me. Not like bad. Like <laughs> I know, just, like, I know, but scared, like, wow, like, oh. you look because there not many people look like us. Mm. Look cool. So mm. that's crazy. But dating. Um. Yeah. How is that going? Uh, for me, I dipped my toesies in the dating waters. I know. Hold at me. the start of 2022, so yeah, at the start of last year, um, I did it like not I did it. Oh my god, I downloaded my first dating app in 2020. So like yeah, during the pandemic, I was on Discord with my friends, and we realized, oh my god, we're 18. We literally can download dating apps now. And, you know, four, no, five, four teenagers <laughs> on discord we downloaded it and we just kind of like went through looked at who was in our area it was literally people from high school because like small town yeah, <laughs> yeah that's traumatizing but yeah and then since i had like the one week trial we like looked at other countries and we're like ha 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 hee hee this person's to you no 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 type thing and then i didn't touch it again till um so that was like around winter break yeah i didn't touch it again till 20, yeah, 2023, no, 2022, at the start of 2022, I didn't download it again, because I was like, wait, I'm in college, like, even though I guess, like, I'm not actively seeking for a relationship or something like that, let me just, like, see what can happen, so my first two talking stages were an absolute fail, an absolute flop, oh my god, not I remember. recommend, oh my god, the first guy Rich. was just very weird, like, was weird. dropping, like, very, like, sub, oh my god, it's stuff. okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, at least I caught it. We are still recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still recording. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So as I was saying, the first guy was just like dropping very weird, subtle, homophobic type shit. And, like, Ew. I don't know. It was just like you know, like some men kind of like joke about things, but like, oh, oh that's gay. And it's like I personally don't find that funny. And that, and then. Very at the time, grade. it was like the Will Smith and Jada situation, ah! and he was just like saying weird anti-black stuff about black women. So I was like, okay, whatever. What race was he? He was black. Aye, a little chai. black man, chai. Ghanaian, half Ghanaian, chai, half, chai, 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 chai. <laughs> half African American. And I was just like, uh, I don't see this working out. But funny enough, he ghosted me. Oh, whatever. I'm glad he did because right. personally, I don't like ghosting, but I felt like I had to ghost him. Right. Okay, they're having a blast in the back there. But yeah, second talking situation was just another pro tip. If you're talking to someone, go to their Twitter <laughs> to, to find out what type of person they are. Because no, literally, someone can like put up a front or like a face on a day or like yeah. for however long, especially men. Mm. If men can do it for fucking seven years mm. and then get married and then switch up with their wives, trust. Like, 
wicked. That fucking 20 year old boy is, is not <laughs> like mm. Phillies. So yeah, I checked their Twitter and that was just. Mm, I, yeah, yeah. And also, that was like our first time that I also like tried being honest and open to my parents about me dating. I was like, hey, I'm going on a date with this person. And then, yeah, never again because they. <laughs> <laughs> they blew it out of proportion, started being like, oh, so you're getting engaged now or some shit. Hey, I was like, what the fuck? How do we, we just jumped a couple no, chapters. No, literally, and book. like, just like jumping to assumptions and like the whole like, oh, be safe type shit. I don't know. Just like, when it's like, dude, if you were a whore and you're... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no, that's why it was in my head. I was like, if y'all were like whoring it up in your 20s, uh, do not think I'm doing that. Like, right. Yeah, thank you for telling me to be safe and all. Yeah, I appreciate that. But, like, jump to conclusions and let's not do that. So, yeah, that was, that's, like, the last time I'm ever talking to our parents about, like, my dating life. And then the third, I guess, like, situation was, like, my first relationship ever. Mm-hmm. And then in a month. <laughs> embarrassing. But, you know, yeah. now that I look back on it, I'm like, Loki, that was, like, my middle school relationship. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, take, it, <laughs> I'll take it for that. Hello, Even though hello, it was hello, in college. Hello. But, you know, a little test run, you know, but... I was yeah. shook when y'all started. I was like, yo, just started talking. No. Yeah, yeah like, that was, oh, yeah, that was, bombing. that was, yeah. <laughs> you, and you didn't say anything? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I was like, let me not, I didn't, you know. It doesn't matter. You were like in love. You know, some no, people, no, not, not. I mean, like, you had feelings for somebody. Yeah, some people, yeah, I didn't yeah. know, like, I've had some friends who were like, I said something yeah. like, oh, why the hell would you say that? Oh, and then no, later no, on, no, it, no, it, no. you know, it hit the fan. But I was like, let me, let me just.